All right, so let's take a look at how to animate the butterfly. I'm just going to grab a copy of it and drop it directly onto Cartoon Animator 4.5 or above. And while holding down the control key on my keyboard, I can click and drag as many uh, duplicate copies as I need for my project. Now, by default, they all pretty much look the same and behave the same. They're even animated at the same time. This is because they all start at the same frame. So we're going to change that by going into the sprite editor and just kind of randomly choosing a starting point. That's good enough. Now they don't quite look like it's the same butterfly being animated in sort of like a synchronized swimmer type of thing. So that's uh, that gets us a little bit further along the lines of what we want to do. Uh, a little bit more realism there. But uh, let's take it a little bit further by adjusting the colors. Now you can change the colors of the this black area here, the little white dots, and the main uh, color displays. I'm just gonna mess around with the with the main. Uh, um, color here by adjusting the brightness a little bit nothing too drastic just enough to make them look not quite the same floral saturation maybe a hint of a different color That should do the trick. Let's see what that looks like now. Very nice. Okay, so now we can uh, take it a little bit further and, uh, you know, just kind of tweak the positions, uh, the depth itself, just to give it more variety. And if you are so inclined, you can also adjust the sizes so you can have some variety in terms of the sizes as well maybe slight rotation adjustments and now we have a series of individual butterflies animating at different speeds uh, displaying different colors not so bad so let's go ahead and animate our sequence we're gonna go to frame we are all, we are already on frame one and we're going to put them in the starting position and we're going to go to maybe frame 100 here you can i mean obviously your project will be whatever you want it to be and we're going to put them in their ending frame and maybe get them a little smaller as they kind of go up there but uh that's pretty much it so we can also go somewhere in between just kind of tweak their path And the more variety you put in here, the more realistic results you're going to get. So there you go. Enjoy.